This guide is designed to show you how to convert the SB997 and SB998 grip blasters into soda blasters using the SB99 dot kit. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that we've disconnected the airline from your machine and then check the gauge and get rid of any air until it reads zero. Once you've got to that stage, you can safely open the filler neck up here and tip out any remaining grit. And you want to get rid of that, make sure it's clear, because you don't want grit in with your soda, because it will damage delicate items. The next stage on is to turn the machine to the rear and with a 17 mm open-ended spanner, undo the airline hose, as you can see here. And now we can lay the machine on its back. The first thing we need to do too is with a, a flat blade screwdriver, disconnect the blasting gun hose. So we've disconnected the blasting hose. The next stage on is to disconnect the other end of the airline. Now this nut and the next one have both been installed with a thread locking liquid when they're actually manufactured. So there's gonna be quite a lot of resistance when you come to undo this. So let's get that working. And now the next stage is to unscrew the complete manifold from the bottom of the, the cylinder. There we are. So that's the blasting manifold removed. Just clean out the threads a little bit. We now need to install the soda blasting manifold from the SB99 dot kit. The first thing we need to do with a posi screwdriver is undo the hose. There we are. The next stage on is to, we need to seal this thread where it's gonna go into the bottom of the tank. And what we do is we use PTFE tape, and I'll show you how to apply that. It's quite important the direction that we apply it. Each machine comes with a roll of this when you're buying the SB997 or SB998. So the important thing is you need to apply it in the same rotation as the direction of the thread. So the thread is going this way around. So we start off just put my thumb on the little bit of tape that's sticking out and then slowly wind it on around itself until we've got enough and grip it and pull in the direction and snap it off and then just wrap around what's left like so. We can now screw the manifold into the bottom of the tank Gently wind it in, it's quite a fine thread. Just need to pick up the thread, there we are. And slowly screw it in. The important thing is when we finish that this connection needs to be facing backwards for the airline hose to connect to. So I'll now use a, uh, an adjustable spanner onto the manifold. So I now need to apply the airline hose from the bottom first, and what I'll do with this, it had some sealant on here, so yet again, I'm gonna apply PTFE tape to it, as before, in the same rotation as the thread, like so. There we 
we are. And now we can screw it in to the manifold. And then tighten using 17mm spanner again. And there we are, that's now completed. Stand the machine up and then connect the other end of the airline like so. And then tighten it again with a 17mm spanner. That's fine. Turn the machine around, lay it on its back, and we need to apply the two hoses. One is the exhaust hose, which goes onto the top. There we are. And then finally the blasting hose onto the lower one. With a flat blade screwdriver. Once you put, place your soda into the, the tank, just put on your lid and connect to your airline in the normal fashion. And then you're ready to start blasting. Hold your gun open, facing away from yourself, and initially you'll get mainly air from the gun. And slowly the soda will be picked up. It's priming itself. Once it's up and running, you're ready to start blasting. Thanks for watching.